Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a soulmate twin flame and karma reading to see what comes out. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, you resonate. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're off. You got my six men on my back because I have glory. All right, look at all the cards that come out. Um, the bottom of the deck is romantic offer. Expect, expect a romantic gesture that could surprise you, perhaps an engagement or taking things to the next level. Celebrate your union. So this is um, soulmate type energy uh, right here, not twin flame. So let's see what this card is. We will go ahead and pull uh, and look. The crossroads, the right timing, mirror, repetitive cycles. Yeah, so we got a lot of energies here. We have insensitivity, in, intensity, sorry, I'm saying intensity. I can't even say what I'm saying. So we have a lot of karmic energy here. So we have a couple of soulmates. We have twin flame here. So let me just put it in the midst of what makes sense. So this is twin flame. This is karmic, karmic, soulmate, and twin flame. So twin flame, more karmic energy. Uh, on the board, karma and twin flame, and this one is da 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 da. Yeah, soulmate energy. So, um, this could be soulmate type energy that you've been dealing with, but it says crossroads, mirror ring for twin flame energy, repetitive cycles, addicted to toxicity and justifying behavior. This is karmic energy right here, and then we have the soulmate energy, intensity, right timing, perfectly imperfect, and then gift. So that is what you've been dealing with when it comes to this situation. I'm trying to see, I don't like the light on here. It's so bright, but anyway. So that is the energy that comes out. We're gonna go ahead and read the crossroad. It says your twin flame, um, I hope this is a twin flame relationship. It says your twin flame knows they have to make a choice, uh, but there's a lot of confusion surrounding the decision. It says they're taking the time to get clarity, and then the other one says mirroring. Your twin flame is reflecting back the truth. They can cause uh, this can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one of both twins to run from the relationship. So let's clarify crossroads um, and see what this energy is. We're going to clarify crossroads. So at a crossroads, meaning to make a decision, but feeling like they know that they have to make a choice and. You know, they are uh, taking their time, comes with a higher thing, changing their belief system. So, um, you know, they have to unlearn to relearn when it comes to where they're at in this crossroads. They have to change their belief system. The higher for energy is either they have to obey to what it is or not, you know. So when it comes to that energy being here, you know, sometimes it comes with, you know, um, them recognizing um their identity, recognizing what it is they want to do and where they want to be, um, like Donald Jones, where I want to be. The mirroring energy comes again with it comes from them running to, from the relationship. Sorry, Knight of Wands. So this is my great energy, fearless action. Um, Knight of Wands energy says, uh, excuse me, uh, you only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. So changing the beliefs of so this person, if this is a twin frame relationship, is looking at it in a different light. And then bottom of the deck is completion. They want to have some type of completion with you. But if it comes to this being a karmic energy, the repetitive cycle says uh, um, the predictable and repetitive cycle of an on and off again relationship can be toxic and harmful. It says, so why put yourself through such an awful experience? And that comes with, why are you being optimistic in regards to the repetitive cycles? Why are you seeing an opportunity when there's no opportunity there? It's been on and off again, but then it's been an addiction because you're addicted. It's codependent type energy. So it says, toxic relationships give you an opportunity to overcome uh, unresolved pain. It says, take the time to heal, grow, and become more self-aware. So clarifying the toxic, the addicted to toxicity, when it comes to the karmic energies, you have to be able to heal from that and not really be optimistic in regards to the situation. 
but see the beauty in yourself, a nurturing creator. It creates and it teaches you how to love yourself even more. But when it comes to the Empress energy, it teaches you how to create things or to create and to love yourself and to see the beauty in the way that you nurture a situation. When you can give your all to the, to the toxic situations, you need to give it to yourself. So that is where it is, but justifying the behavior is this part right here. It says to justify their behavior even though you know deep down inside that it was wrong or questionable at best. It's clearly not a good sign. So again, look at that, the death energy. The energy is to, you know it's not a good sign. You know it's time to end it. So being optimistic and having faith in regards to a situation when it comes to the star energy, you having a uh, faith um, in regards to the situation and you trying to create something out of nothing is why there is a necessary ending that has to happen. The Nine of Swords is like you reliving past traumas by you not letting go of certain situations, if that makes sense. And so when it comes to it being, if this is a strong energy, the intensity, right timing, uh, perfectly imperfect and good. My, my sons are yelling, talking to each other, um, anyway, and yelling through a wall, I guess that's what they're doing, but intensity is here, it says the intensity of the connection is very strong, uh, deep and intense, it's so overwhelming, you may run from it, and so that is what it's saying, so that's what it's saying when it comes to, you know, it's an intense uh, soulmate type energy, but you have to be able to see something different when it comes to these situations, and the magician and the queen of swords. So the Queen of Swords energy, if you have to think strategically when it comes to, so when it comes to the Queen of Swords meaning here, it says thinking strategically when it comes to the intensity of the situation, but also understanding that it can be overwhelming, but you have to say what it is that you're going through and be able to manifest something different when it comes to, you know, seeing the rewards of how the soul is attached or how you feel like this connection does or what this connection does to you. So at the end of the day, the Queen of Swords energy is be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single minded determination. And the magician energy is to learn to manifest the things that you want, but it's to also be yourself. So no matter how tense it is in this situation, you need to be yourself and you need to not let this situation stop you. So that means not fumbling over the over your words when it comes to you know how much you love and feel um, about a person and then it says the right timing it says both of your souls have involved evolved and have awakened into this connection um, that could last a lifetime it says your hard work is now being rewarded so it's the right timing so this is to a person that you have unsure energy of the page of wands energy this is you either fearing the past energies that you've been through or looking at the future and not really not really being able to see and it's not being in the present moment right now so even though it might be the right timing the way you feel is that you're so worried about the past and you know reliving the past and also um what the future may hold for the situation that what it's doing is it's making you feel like you're going through a repetitive cycle and um, you're addicted to toxicity and so that's where you second guess this soulmate type energy at the end of the day again the romantic offer if this is a soulmate energy you're learning from this but if you keep revisiting the past this energy will become toxic to you mentally because you're afraid to say what it is that you want and to really be yourself your authentic self and so the perfect and perfect imperfect Perfectly imperfect says, and let me, let me go ahead and clarify the page of Wands energy because basically when it comes to this energy, you have to know to live in the present moment and you can't let anything stop you. Seven of Cups, because everybody has options. This is grandiose temptations, but the options can be tempting if it is a situation that you've relived in the past or you might try to revisit because you're afraid of something new coming through. So you have to look at things in regards to if this is. Um, a toxic energy, if this is, you know, um, twin flame energy, if this is toxic, or if this is a real soulmate energy, but the temptations of revisiting the past is where you have to know the options that you have and you have to be able to move forward if that makes sense to you. So perfect, perfectly imperfect. It's the love you have for them uh, allow, excuse me, the love you have for them allow you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without uh, trying to change them. So 
this person place thing or situation you're not going to try to change but again you're going to have boundaries and you're going to not revisit the past over this energy because you have reached a plateau and you've learned uh, from the twin flame the difference between the twin flame and also the toxic energy but also when it comes to soulmate energy and just knowing how you feel about a situation so this could be the stages of what you had to go through you had to know that twin flames can be toxic but it also can be rewarding at the same time so again whichever one it is take what resonates but you have to know the difference between perfectly imperfect and also understand that the intensities and the um being it being the right time could be somebody could you could have ended something because it was toxic because you wanted this twin flame situation you wanted to take um action and, and also change somebody's belief system and then it turned around and made you feel like okay well i'm going through this repetitive cycle is very toxic and also i'm justifying the things that they're doing i'm making excuses for the way that they are and now it's time for me to end it in order for me to find my true soulmate now this might be the same person that comes back healed or this might be you finding someone else but you don't want to destroy something for nothing or something because of the past and that's why i believe you're afraid to move on even though you might have options you might have several options but you choose to be stagnant and stick to this energy because this was so good too good to be true that when this comes around and the offer is here again offers you are afraid because of you know uh the the um how do you say it? you're afraid because of um you can't you you're not sure what to believe or if it's too good to be true that's what i'm trying to say so it says again the love you have for them allow you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without trying to change them so you're not going to try to change anyone you're not going to yeah five of swords you're not going to um look at the ego or excuse me four swords look i was going to say five of swords ego but it's four swords you're not going to sit up there and and worry 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 you're going to pull your energy back and you're going to just relax you know the four swords energy is just letting you know that when it comes to you feeling some type of way you're going to uh pull your energy back you're going to meditate you're going to see what this uh is trying to you know what what's trying to pull you back this way to where you're insecure you're not feeling some type of way and you're going to say you know what I'm not going to let this burn me out. I'm just going to know and accept this person for what they are and what the future has for this situation. Then I'm just going to let it play. I'm going to let it go and let it flow. Because, again, over our feet, he says you either run from it or you learn from it. And you learn from it. But you're now when you get to a point to where you start to look at what the past energy caused you or look at, you know, where you how you feel in the present moment based upon what you can and you have no control of when it comes to the future, you're just going to pull your energy back and take a nap. Go ground yourself. Go do something that you're not going to worry about a situation that you have no control over. And you're not going to spend time uh, neglecting yourself by reflecting on the what ifs, if that makes sense. And so we have the gift. It says, expect a gift or a romantic date night invitation. Your time has come to enjoy a beautiful union filled with love and romantic gestures. So the gift will come. The person, the, the options that you have will come. But again, you have to have a realization that you can't overthink this energy. You've done the work. You're realizing that you've done the work and everything that's coming to you is because you made the realization of the past energy, the present energy, or, you know, you feeling, uh, knowing what toxic energy is and also knowing the twin flame back and forth, but you're not going to repeat these cycles. So again, the judgment energy just lets you know that you have to be the one to realize what comes with this and face yourself and say okay if somebody has given me this offer let me go ahead and open my world to something that i know that i've been wanting and deserving and i worked on you know eight of coins energy so this has been eight years coming that you're finally receiving the offers that you want is it going to come from your so-called twin flame or the toxic energy it might not but at the end of the day your fears can't you can't let your fears block you the moon energy you know you can't let your fears block you so you have to remember where you came from and how far you've come in eight years down the line you can't repeat these types of energies um, of fear and doubt and you know uh, block your blessings or block the energies that's coming your way so with that being said i'm gonna pull from you
take and go from there because again um, this is something that is hard to deal with this theory but again you learned your lesson from the toxic energy you learned your lesson from thinking everything is a twin flame energy you have to know that you know you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love but you know in the Drake energy but there's going to be offers that come to you it might be autumn it might be now but at the bottom of the deck don't feel guilty and don't sabotage this energy because this is something that's in a long time coming so uh, we have third party energy so this is what you are fearful of the avoidance the third party um, you know somebody expressing the truth uh, or somebody wearing a mask because that's basically how I see that you know the truth is washing off the mask and also you having a renewal but this is at the same time a renewal you could be watching the situation and inspecting it for what it is what it really is you as a water sign but you are not just going with the flow anymore you you, you know you're going to get to a point to where you have already isolated yourself but you're going to isolate yourself and not just your thoughts you're not going to stay stagnant you're going to move forward because you're realizing that you've either saw this before or you don't want to experience it so you're going to watch the red flags but you're not going to let the red flags hold you back and you're not going to feel guilty for moving forward and i think that's where this is this watching energy and somebody removing their mask is somebody trying to come back after the fact that you have you know they were going through third parties they were doing all this stuff and they avoided the situation well now here it is the truth is their mask is coming off and they're watching you move forward with your life if that makes sense so i'm going to pull from Carol to see another tarot deck to see what comes out the intuitive tarot deck to see what comes out because if this person wants to communicate with you how are you going to deal with that how are you going to feel once this person comes are you going to let them block the things that you have overcame uh, or the new offers that you have are you going to do that or are you going to allow them uh you're going to set your boundaries and know what you come from these cards are just popping out so yeah here we go um i'll be the bottom of the deck is the emperor energy so the emperor energy is respecting yourself are you going to respect yourself the divine masculine established action oriented gets it done protective authority powerful stability leader and faithful are you going to be this person because what you can what you overcome and not feel guilty about the things that you have going on these cards came over which is the solar eclipse big changes are coming in the autumn autumnal equinox prepare for change and it says uh about six months find the inner truth and that's where the truth is coming out at and it says the catalyst for change transformation uh, cosmic trigger beginnings and then the other one says prepare for change timing a few months make long-term plans express gratitude harvest and fall so this could happen in those timings but again you have to be the one to understand where everything lies and so uh it has the queen of coins tending it says the king of queen of coins in the reverse tending to yourself and that's you being yourself and understanding that nobody can change um there nobody's going to change for you they're going to change because they need to but you have to tend to yourself no matter what you're not going to sabotage yourself because you become the emperor and you're able to respect yourself now because the empress comes out and that's you creating and respecting and having a realization that you can manifest the things that you want and you have several options but you have to know that the perfectionist the manipulative the ambitious exciting possessive um, it says work, home, balance, imbalance, balance, imbalance, self-focus, shallow, and jealous. Those type of energies, queen of coins in the reverse is, you know, basically you understanding that you have to be the one to make these decisions because the queen of coins in the upright or the queen of pentacles in the upright, like Queen Amin Ra says, she's the mother of the zodiac. She's nurturing. She's practical. She's the person who has, who provides financial security. And as JDS Terrell says, the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. So even though you're at this stage, this is because you're not nurturing everyone else. This is you nurturing yourself and being financially independent and stable for the Emperor energy um, and also practicing self-care. So this is the energy that you're in. And the Ten of Wands in the reverse, it says lay your burdens down. You're not sabotaging yourself anymore. You're not going to isolate yourself autumn the autumn so this could be the time that you find the love that you 
um, deserve because it, this two parts came out, the autumnal equinox and then it's the harvest is here. So this could be the time that everything starts to come out, but you're going to lay your burdens down. You're going to allow those energies to come to your, come your way. And it says, ready, readjust, I don't know, readjust, I think that's readjust, yeah, readjust, uh, release, reduce. Get your priorities straight and delegate responsibilities and prioritize. It's all about you. And that's, again, why the Queen of Coins comes in the reverse because it's not about self, about everyone else anymore. It's about you. And so with it, by autumn, you'll have everything coming together and all of these um, different um, offers will come to you and you'll be ready to accept them or you'll be ready to uh, put them to the side. But there's no more feeling guilty or having negative thoughts and that is what the reading is about, I guess. And so I'll pull one more from the True Emotions deck, just a, a emotional deck to see what else comes out. But I believe that by autumn, there will be offers coming your way. But it's time for you to be yourself and to love yourself. And that's basically what the energy is. So whether twin flame, um, soulmate, or karmic energy, you've learned from every situation. And the, the soulmate energy has is here now or is on its way and based upon the twin flame energy and the, the karmic energy you've been able to end the things that no longer serve you and that's the funeral energy and the mirroring energy you're not just going to fall in love with somebody because you feel something familiar it has to be something of substance or you're going to end the things that no longer serve you and that is how i see that so let's go ahead and let's let this old energy go i'm gonna first of all wait I forgot pulled from the crystal deck and the four agreements. You know, this is my lazy way. It says always do your best. Perfection, or excuse me, practice makes the master. Practice makes the master. And it says by doing your best, I cannot see. By doing your best over and over, uh, uh, you can master the art of transformation by doing your best. It says the habit of misusing your words, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent within, within time. And the seraphonite is the crown and the, the heart chakra. Angelic communication, regeneration, and protection. And it says, angelic energies heal and protect me. Angelic energies heal and protect me. So, let's let this old energy go. And that's the endings that have to happen. Endings for new beginnings because, again, you might look at it. And let me tell you what the death energy is. It says embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end, it's a transformation that brings new beginnings. So the new beginnings are for you to move forward and to accept the offers, accept the help that you, not even help, accept the love that you've given to others from someone else. And that's kind of how I see that. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness. Generational curses, death, bad energy, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.